yeah. Another device that still uses micro USB for charging. On paper, the Nightingale 3 has everything you need for an entry-level MP3 player, but I promise you, this will drive you insane. Every application this device supports is available right from the home screen, and navigation is easy as pressing the direction that you want and choosing the center button to select. But on this screen, up, down, right, and left, just get completely scrambled. Now, to go down, you press right. Or to go up, you press left. Going down actually goes to the previous menu, and going up does nothing. Uh, center still selects. If you read the microscopic manual, it will tell you to adjust the volume, you long press the volume button. <laughs> you know, why didn't I think of that? Let's give it a try. Let's say I want to turn the volume up. I'm going to long press the volume button and then hit up and, well, what? It activated the AB option. That's not what I want. How do I turn the volume up? Well, it turns out to turn the volume up, you don't press up, you press right. Why, why didn't I think of that? Well, let's, okay, let's give that a try. Go to activate and I'll press right. Didn't work. Let's try it again. Long press, right? Uh, there it goes, there it goes. Okay, so that did work. However, do you know how many times that I've tried to adjust the volume and gone to the previous or next track instead? Uh, almost every time. The Nightingale 3 comes with a 64 gig memory card and they say you can store up to 32,000 lossless tracks. Well, let's look at the music application and we're going to all songs, and it says 5,000 tracks. Well, I know there are 12,000 tracks on this memory card. Yeah, it turns out it will only look at the first 5,000. You can use some of that generous 64-bit storage to store movies, which you can watch on this vibrant 1.8-inch screen. Not this guy. You can also use the ebook application to read a plain text formatted ebook. In most entry level MP3 players, the FM radio does work pretty well. And this one does work, but the implementation's a little rougher on the edges. And I will warn you that the volume controls are opposite of what it was for the MP3s. <laughs> on a positive note the bluetooth function has worked well with every device i've tried and when you get this to work and you can i believe in you when you get this to work it sounds really good but getting there the navigation system the inconsistencies it just it feels like i'm rolling the dice you, there is no way to learn these controls it is impossible I mean, what were they thinking? The Nightingale 3 is inexpensive and the battery lasts for 30 hours, which is fantastic. But I think the secret to survival is getting this in your shuffle play mode and the volume that you want, and then don't touch it. Just let it run for 30 hours, let it run off the clock, and then at least you'll go for a day without frustration. One thing that experience teaches us all is that bundled headphones are almost always terrible. And thankfully, AOV doesn't give you any. There's nothing to complain about in that regard. You will have to supply your own headphones. Do I recommend the AOV Nightingale 3? No! It's, it's not totally horrible, but it's just a hair above that. Two out of five stars.